what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. Yeah, I hope you lot are all doing well today, staying safe, staying inside, etc. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the show where I look around football media's headlines regarding Chelsea Football Club, present the stories to you guys and let you know my thoughts on the stories. Even though we're all locked up and in quarantine, silly season is still in full effect and Chelsea are indeed linked with a few players, yet we all know Chelsea do want to strengthen massively when given the opportunity, if indeed the transfer window opens like normal and they can spend some of the money they have to spend. So today I'm gonna to be talking about three players, center backs, obviously Gabriel is a talking point. Apparently Chelsea have agreed a fee with uh, Lille for the centre-back, which is interesting. Samuel Umtiti of Barcelona, a World Cup winner, apparently prefers Chelsea over Manchester United, which is pleasant to hear. And finally, Jadon Sancho. <laughs> Both Manchester United and Chelsea are obviously interested in Sancho. Although it was looking highly likely that Manchester United might get the signing, Chelsea have apparently only just opened up communications with Dortmund regarding Sancho. Now, both United and Chelsea have pretty much said we ain't got the peas for this bruv and Liverpool have pulled themselves out of the race. So things are heating up there. So there's a lot to talk about, but I want to quickly take a moment to plug my NHS fundraiser. If you want to do something positive and help out, why not donate to my fundraiser and it gives you the opportunity to win a Chelsea shirt for helping out the NHS. Simply click the link in the description, donate whatever you feel comfortable with donating, and in the message, leave your Twitter handle, and when the campaign ends in a couple of weeks, or less than that now, I'll pick a winner, you get a Chelsea shirt. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so Chelsea have reportedly approached Barcelona regarding Samuel Titi, obviously the centre-back, the World Cup winning centre-back uh, that plays for Barcelona. That's been going for a rough couple of seasons in terms of having injury problems. Now, does that seem smart, buying an injured player? Interestingly, although Chelsea have had problems with injured players themselves, they've actually haven't got too much of a bad... What's the word I'm looking for? Record? All right, record. Their record with injured, playing injured players isn't so bad. Barkley, Bakayoko, a few others. They buy injured players for a like l lower price and then get them back to fitness, and generally they're okay moving forwards. So that's interesting. Maybe they see an opportunity in buying them titty, uh, and, you know, they're... Fancy building him up back to good health and getting a good player. He's 26 years old. He's in his prime. He's playing for Barcelona. He's a World Cup winner. He was, you know, massive in that campaign. So he's a good centre half. He'll be at Barcelona for the next three years, so say if his contracts. That's a decent chunk of time left on his contract. Barcelona have put the price tag on Samuel TT of around £44 million or just over, which, if you look at it, for a Barcelona centre-back in his prime who's won the World Cup, who's got three years, over three years left on his contract, 44 million is, you know, if they fancy they can get him fit again, that's not bad at all. In fact, would you say that's a bargain? Possibly. If you rate Samuel on the TT and if you're thinking of him full good health, then maybe that could be an excellent signing for Chelsea Football Club. And another piece of news that came out this last sort of day or so as well is apparently Umtiti prefers Chelsea over Manchester United. What does that mean? Where has this quote come from? I'm not entirely sure from looking on the face of it, so maybe do some more research yourselves if you're really interested in that. But fair enough, Chelsea are an attractive prospect at the moment in many ways, so maybe he does genuinely prefer Chelsea over Manchester United. Hopefully Jadon Sancho does too, although I'm not holding my breath. Although Chelsea have approached Barcelona and opened up a line of communication regarding Umtiti and the potential signing of the player in the summer transfer window, Chelsea still do preference Gabriel from League 1. Uh. And apparently, so saith Duncan Castles, Chelsea have agreed a deal for the player. Only issue is, so have three other football clubs. <laughs> Chelsea did actually make an approach for Gabriel in January and the price was like 45 million euros or something plus. They have since reduced their asking price to 35 million euros, which Chelsea have agreed. Ding, 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 ding. Deal. So we know Everton Football Club are also in for the player and they also had a bid agreed for the 35 million euros. Really, it's probably gonna come down to the player now. So you'd imagine the Premier League probably would be the most attractive prospect um, out of the four clubs that have uh, had terms agreed with the club, Lille. But you think, okay, so between Everton and Chelsea, you'd like to think maybe he'd choose Chelsea over Everton 
But at the same time, Everton have got a good squad. And he might fancy being coached by Carlo Ancelotti over Frank Lampard, who's in his second season of management, which is kind of forgiven for. You know, Chelsea fans or Chelsea players might want to be coached by Lampard. Uh, but it's Carlo Ancelotti. I know he's getting on a bit. So you'll have to consider that part as well. Fact being, the main part of this new story is Chelsea have agreed a deal with Lille, so has other clubs, we're just waiting to see where the player wants to go, so fingers crossed if you want this player, he chooses Chelsea Football Club. And of course, for approximately £10 million more, Chelsea want to do it, Samuel Little Titty might be available for a summer transfer as well. One thing is for sure from looking at all of this, Frank Lampard does want to bolster his defence with a new centre-back. Problem positions, left-back, centre-back, striker. Maybe right wing? We don't know. Which brings us on to the next story, Jaden Sancho. I'm pretty sure that rhymed. How embarrassing. So, more news on Sancho. First off, apparently the headlines are saying Liverpool have pulled out of the race. They've removed themselves from the conversation. And you know what? I kind of get it. Liverpool have got an excellent team. It'll be hard to break into their starting 11. I think Liverpool can probably like make their whole squad better in terms of quality. So they have more rotational options. Sancho does not want to be a rotational option and Liverpool don't like spending loads and loads of money if they don't have to. They had to buy Virgil van Dijk for 75, it paid off. They do not have to buy Jadon Sancho, I get it. They don't want to be part of this race, it's a lot of money, they've pulled themselves out. Who remains? Chelsea Football Club and Manchester United. Now the interesting thing coming out in this last sort of 12 hours or so talking about Jadon Sancho is both Manchester United and Chelsea Football Club have or shown disinterest in the transfer fee. Now layman football fans like perhaps you and I, we all thought yeah you know 120 million that's how much he's going to cost but apparently both United and Chelsea have been like, we don't really want to pay 100 million. You know, that's what they're saying. They're saying, look, we looked at the player, we don't really want to pay that much, which is interesting. That might have something to do with what's going on in the world at the moment with the health crisis. So perhaps that affects finances moving forward, or perhaps they just never fancied paying that transfer fee. I've spoken about Sancho before. Manchester United need him more and they could afford to pay him more wages. I think there's a very good chance he'll go to United but apparently it had been reported that Chelsea have only just opened up communications with Dortmund regarding the transfer of Sancho. I think they've probably, I don't even know if they had expressed an interest before. People around the club know that they're thinking about Sancho, but there's been no formal approach to Dortmund. And apparently, although United have set up a line of communication for a long time, Chelsea have only just done so. Now, this is interesting. I think Dortmund were hoping Liverpool, Chelsea and United were all interested in the player so a bidding war could be sparked up but apparently not. Apparently it's just United and Chelsea and they're saying look bro, recession UK time, you can't ask for loads and loads of money, let's do a deal here and it'll be really really interesting to see how this deal develops. I still think, well Man, Un Man United are still favourites but these kind of stories imply that people close to Chelsea Football Club know that he is being talked about now and perhaps Chelsea aren't completely out of the race um, and maybe, just maybe, they'll want to spend a bit of money on him but we'll have to see what happens. Like I said before in previous videos, Chelsea could absolutely get away with getting a left back, a striker and if they really want a centre back, a centre back as well, like Gabriel. And then, you know, why not buy back Boga if you need cover on the wing to like deputise behind Hakim Ziyech. It's not a massive problem position for Chelsea, you know, and if they're going to be tight for cash, they need to strengthen elsewhere. Whereas you look at Man United, really for them, they just have that massive glaring hole at right wing. And I'd understand if that's the place where they wanted to put all their money. Anyway, that's the stories for today. Centre backs and more... <laughs> tedious Jaden Sancho talk. It's going to be so weird to see where this guy ends up after this massive saga. Remember like Mourinho to United, Pogba to United, it just kept going on and on and on. This is like one of those stories man, but hey, this is Chelsea News, I tell you what's going on in the headlines, and that is what's going on in the headlines. And if you've enjoyed the content today guys, please do like the video, helps me out a lot. Why not subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new to football therapy. You're all welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football, that's not happening, and I will see you later.
so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby